Breaking news from China, Xi Jinping has supposedly been removed as the president of China in a military coup. This is the latest claim from many people on Twitter, which set the platform ablaze with both hashtags Xi Jinping and China coup immediately trending and garnering hundreds of thousands of views on the platform. Now, a lot of the hype surrounding these trending hashtags can be traced back to this simple cell phone video shared by Jennifer Zhang, which to date has received over 3.7 million views. Jennifer claims a rumor that Chinese military vehicles are lined up for some 80 kilometers and heading to Beijing as Xi Jinping was put under arrest. Now, this one video was then shared by some major accounts on Twitter, like First Squawk, a global financial news company with over a quarter million followers, who shared it to their network as breaking news. Even Pulitzer Prize-winning journalists like Lori Garrett joined in. Again, with another quarter million followers, Lori claims that planes have disappeared all over China and shares a rumor that General Li Qiaoming has potentially overthrown Xi Jinping as China's 20th National Congress approaches. But at the end of the day, until now, not a single person has presented any credible sources or evidence, and it seems that this entire thing is just wishful thinking by many Westerners who want to see China fail and to see China China's president replaced. But in reality, China is just a few weeks away from handing Xi Jinping his third term as president. So what's really going down in China? Well, let's break it down in today's video. To understand what's really happening, let's first start by seeing how China's own domestic news channels are reporting this important upcoming events. Yesterday's China's Xinhua News announced the full delegate list for the 20th Party Congress, which of course, Xi Jinping is listed clearly in this statement. In addition, Sunday's CCTV Evening News opened with the line, under the strong leadership of the Party Central Committee with comrade Xi Jinping as the core. Doesn't seem that there has been any shift in the government and President Xi remains clearly in power. Part of the rumor included claims that massive plane cancellations were happening throughout China, and somehow this was linked to this new military coup. But when you follow the insights from real China analysts like Ray Ma, one of the best China tech insiders, you will learn that flight cancellations are the norm in a zero COVID China. Here is a graph of actual flights flown in China. Red is 2022, gray 2021, and blue a pre-COVID 2019. In the first half of 2022, flights were down 54% versus 2019, down 17% versus 2020, and down 43% versus 2021. This graph clearly shows that as recently as April 2022, flights were down some 79% versus 2019, again, all because of COVID restrictions still intact in China. Now, here is what's important to know and how things will unfold over the next few weeks. Starting Friday, China will begin its week-long October 1st National Week holiday. Xi Jinping and other top party leaders normally appear on the National Day celebrations, and then usually don't reappear to the public until the week-long celebration ends. This year, the 19th Party Congress begins on October 9th, and this is when most likely Xi Jinping would reappear in public. What's important to note is that it's quite common for China's high-ranking government officials to take a break from being seen in the public eye. For example, when Xi Jinping traveled to Hong Kong in July to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the city's handover, he disappeared for over a week. Xi just recently made his first overseas trip outside of mainland China to Uzbekistan to attend the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit of 2020. So if he is following protocol, he most likely is quarantining again. However, no one really knows for sure. So many people are speculating, which is leading to more and more rumors about what is happening in China. In a remarkably refreshing shift from the typical China bashing we see from most mainstream media reporters in China, there was an amazing Twitter thread shared from George Ferian, a German reporter for Der Spiegel, who very sarcastically decided to have some fun on Twitter and make a hilarious thread. Today in Beijing, I investigated the China coup, so you don't have to at considerable personal risk. Again, please pick up on the sarcasm here. He continues, I ventured out to some key points in the city. Disturbing finds. Brace yourself. This is Xinhua Gate, the main entrance to the Zhongnanhai compound, where the entire central leadership resides and works, including Xi Jinping. Elite paratroopers have wrestled control over the gate, cunningly disguised as the five middle-aged dudes who always stand there. Nearby, Tiananmen Square swarms with thugs in plain clothes. I've been in China long enough to know that these are not tourists. Rebels in army fatigues guard the headquarters of the state grid, controlling electricity supply in the capital. The second ring road close to the foreign ministry, one of Beijing's main thoroughfares, it has been closed off to civilian traffic. A column of military vehicles stretches about 80 kilometers, 
from here to some place in Hebei. In front of the central station, holdouts from army units loyal to Xi have dug themselves in, guarding that crucial railway hub from their positions fortified with sandbags. Alas, hope is dim. Coup reinforcements arrive in armored personnel carriers. Send us your thoughts and prayers. But unfortunately, not everybody understood that this thread was sarcastic and not real. India's most viewed English and Hindu news channel, Republic, with over 4 million Twitter followers, shared the thread as exclusive news, adding even more confusion to the situation. But this is the state of Western social media today. Topics can immediately start to trend, and it's very difficult for the majority of people to understand what is real and what is fake. I mean, let's take another look at the video that Jennifer Zhang shared. It's a random video from a random highway in China. We have no idea when this video was taken. We have no idea if this is even in Beijing. This could literally be anywhere in China and taken at any time frame. But as we come to the conclusion of today's video, I want everybody to understand one thing. It's very difficult for really anybody to understand what is really happening inside China's government this moment. This is a very crucial time for China because they are about to do an unprecedented thing, and that is to give Xi Jinping his third term as president. For many years, China's government always had term limits, very similar to other countries around the world, including the United States. But a few years ago, Xi Jinping laid the groundwork to actually remove these term limits and set himself up to rule indefinitely. Now, this has been known for a long time, but again, it is not official yet. And in a few weeks, when the 20th Party Congress meets, this is when Xi Jinping will officially be given his third term. This is a very politically sensitive time inside of China right now. And again, there's a lot of speculation. But one thing that we must do is we must remove emotion from the situation. I think a lot of Westerners and a lot of people that don't like China, of course, they would love to see Xi Jinping be removed as president. They would love to see China to have some instability to be unstable, to basically have chaos inside of China. But the reality of the situation is, is that unless you're a very high-ranking government official, you most likely do not know what is happening inside of China. That's including people in China or outside of China. But soon enough, we're going to hear exactly the results of this big 20th Party Congress. But up until this point, there is no credible sources, there is no credible evidence, and it does seem that all of these stories and all of these publications that are trending on Twitter really are just a bunch of BS. Now, as always, we're going to continue to monitor the situation and we're going to continue to report objectively about China. And again, if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned as we make videos every week on geopolitics, China, and this amazing world that we live in. It's the goal with this channel to foster better relationships with China and every country around the world because we truly live in a global economy and learning to work together is how we are going to create a world that makes sense for all of us. Everyone, my name is Cyrus Jansen. Thanks for spending time with me here today on YouTube. And if this is your first video and you'd like to get involved, you'd like to be a part of this mission to make this world a better place, I invite you to come join our team on Patreon. We have exclusive access to member-only content, and it's a great way to help support this channel and to see it grow. Again, thank you for your time, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video soon.